Welcome as two old guys review another great piece of entertainment. Uh, today, it's a new movie called The Fall Guy, and it's based on a probably 30-year-old, close to 40-year-old TV hit series. Both Art and I are familiar with yeah. the, the TV show because we grew up watching that little sucker. That was a pretty good show. Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. You know, what amazed me, Art, is that somebody, anybody, would, 40 years later, come up with an idea to remake The Fall Guy. It's it's so patently obvious. It's got action. It's got love. It's got, you know, it's got all those things that made it a hit on TV. Why not? Sure. What, what took them so long is what I, I, I guess I, I want to ask. Well, I guess, I guess they... they uh... Well, kind of interesting thing I was going to make a, a, a comment about. Well, they had, uh, what, uh, Gosling, who it was just a big uh, uh, super uh, star in uh, Barbie as a sporting actor in Barbie playing Ken. So he's got a lot of buzz. But they obviously shot this movie before Barbie came out. So they couldn't, they weren't on the coattails of Barbie. But I think that that probably helped them a lot. You know, uh, I, uh, promoting. I it. don't know. You know, I. I, for me, it's the casting was secondary to the premise of, gee, let's do redo the fall guy. Sure. Um, what what makes a, a movie these days draw people to the theater? Action, adventure, love, something bigger than life. And if you recall, in fact, you you uh, you were a big fan of the Fall Guy TV show. That's what that show was all about. Lee Majors. And um, who were the who were the women? Uh, Marky Post. Uh, well, Marky Post was the third one. The first one was uh, Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas. And then right. Joanne Flug is a Flug. And Joanne Flug, yeah. Okay, so uh, basically in the five five seasons, the last two or three seasons, they switched these uh, uh, supporting uh, actor actresses right. uh, several right. times. But you no, know, for the TV show. And uh, uh, and I hope you go into the the movie in a moment. But the TV show is based on a um, uh, a stuntman, uh, Lee Majors, who had a, a lot of time in between trying to get jobs and earn a living as a stuntman. So right. to make to to pay the rent, uh, he was a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah, and most yeah. of the show was talking about his being a bounty hunter with his sure. massive GMC truck. Uh, and there's interesting stories behind that, which I'm not going to share today. Go watch the, the, the movies. They're still all available, the, the TV series. Uh, but uh, and he would just uh, beat the hell out of the truck. But he would catch the bad guys and uh, bring them in for his reward. And then every so often, he get one of his gigs in Hollywood. Uh, yeah, was there was it? always a big chase scene in the truck. There was always an adventure. Um, beautiful women. Yeah. Tough guy and lots of uh, car action. And a, a great like comedic. It was a big hit. It was, it, it, and there was nothing serious about any of it. It was all comedic under underscoring of the, all of it. So it was yep. just a fun entertainment to watch and take your mind off uh, whatever was going on in your life. Yeah, and they did. About... I even remember. I even remember they had a hit song. The the theme song was a big hit too. Oh. So let me go. Let me move to the movie. Let's yeah. bring you up to date here. The movie is not a remake of the the Fall Guy TV shows. It's really a prequel. Mm. So it goes back to uh, Colt Seavers, who's the the stunt man, um, and it really it really tells the story of how he became a stunt man slash um, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. And he's got a different love interest, and uh, played by Emily Blunt, who's mm -hmm. fabulous. Um, anyway, the uh, the main guy, Ryan Gosling, is not anywhere near the Lee Majors type, but he did a great job, and uh, he is attractive and fun, and a, a good tough guy, a good hero. And uh, Emily Blunt is a wonderful girlfriend. Uh, they're in the mo they're in the business of movies, and they get together because there's a lot of stunts in the movies. Mm -hmm. And the stunts, of course, all begin with a truck of some sort going past, uh, exploding bombs, and turning over, rolling over. All the stunts you would expect in a car-oriented movie, and very well done. You know, 
big mm. high jumps over canyons and things. So the action in this movie is fabulous. It's state of the art. And the love story is great. And the acting is really good. And it's a prequel, so it's not repetitive. Mm. It, it's kind of tells you the story of how the TV show came about. And you can see, even though they don't end with all of a sudden, you know, things get together and it's a TV show, it, you can see all the connections made. Mm. So where you leave off in the movie is where the TV show, 40 years ago, where the TV show begins. It's wonderful. If, if you, particularly if you watch the TV show, you would love this movie. Hmm. So you enjoyed it. I did, and and I went to the theater. You didn't go watch the movie, did you? No. So here's, I I know that you went to the theater, and what you spent about uh, seventy, eighty bucks for a couple <laughs> couple of bins of popcorn and, and uh, getting in. Well, I we did. We spent. I think it was about forty forty five dollars, close to fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, tickets for seniors, mind you, twenty two bucks, something like that. Uh, popcorn and drinks, uh, another twenty to 25 bucks. So yeah, it's close to 50 bucks for seniors, mind you, wow. to go to the movies these days. And uh, I guess, did we go, we might have gone to the luxury theater, I don't remember, you know, but there's different theaters. You can go to the discount theater, or the luxury theater. The chains all have various uh, levels of uh, comfort for you. But I, I enjoy the theatrical experience. I enjoy the big screen. I enjoy the, the sound quality. Um, and you know what? I don't go to the movies as often as I once did because it is more expensive, but I still enjoy the experience and, and it's worth it for certain movies. And this one piqued my interest. This one sounded like it'd be a lot of fun. For well, sure, as an, as an action movie with a, a, a boom, bam, crashing and everything else, seeing that on the big oh. screen, there's got to be no experience like that. Although I have to tell you that um, uh, Linda and I were thinking about seeing it, but even for 1995, uh, really, we said to each other, even though we could make our own popcorn, get our own <laughs> drinks. Okay, so literally, for 1995, for the two of us, we could watch yeah. it. I guess we were a little bit Ryan Gosling out from Barbie. <laughs> uh, he'd been well, uh, he played Ken, and it's been around. Um, but uh, an Emily Blunt was certainly the call, but it didn't look like a serious movie, which I'm sure it was not. So it was a good, lighthearted uh, soccer oh, yeah. uh, bang. And so we just looked at each other and we took a pass on it. But then I went back and I, I remember having really enjoyed uh, the TV series and watched the pilot again. And it was really good. And yeah. so I didn't feel bad about not seeing it. By the way, I have to tell you also that I do enjoy the theater. Linda and I always enjoy uh, going to the theater. We used to go uh, maybe once a week uh, back in the day. Right. Uh, so it was like well, our, things, it was more affordable but only it, a few years ago. It, was it more is affordable. a great, a great experience. But I have to tell you now with and we've had this discussion before, 65 inch screens at home and maybe the next yeah. one's going to be 85 inches with OLED. OK, you never know. It's yeah. just an outstanding experience and we have the uh the couch that has the 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 legs that go up and the back that goes back just like <laughs> your luxury theater you can't beat it and then you can always put it on pause when you have to go to the bathroom so <laughs> that's true <laughs> and and you can even replay mm -hmm. if you miss that and you can put subtitles in if you really have a bad hearing like i do so you're right the the uh the theatrical business, the movie uh, business, is, has a real competition with home theaters and home uh, TV experiences. It's right. getting um, real hard to compete with them because and and pay TV. You know, it's only a matter of time before the Fall Guy movie 2024 will be on TV uh, yeah. for I don't know ten bucks instead of uh, the twenty two bucks that I paid. Yeah, it was so, it was 1995. There was not much difference, uh, which shocked me. For 495, okay, on TV, we would have watched it. But for yeah. 1995, we just said, you know what? There's a lot of other things that you know just buy for it, and, and it just wasn't exciting enough. Okay, and I, let, let me let you know, uh, we didn't have any uh, second thoughts about 
for us watching the Eras tour, the first one that Taylor Swift had on. Uh, yeah. uh, that was a pay per view, and we actually yeah. saw that a couple of times. So yeah. we 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 back, went back to the well. So uh, it's not you know you have to pick and choose what you want. But apparently you had a great time. I enjoyed going down nostalgia lane, and uh, whether you're a full guy or a gal and you want to get a, a nice action movie, watch the TV series, watch the theatrical series, you're going to have a good time. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.